Hey everybody, I think we're live, we were live, there it is, hey, we're live, yay, alright, I think it's going to work, give us a little jig, see if it shows up, okay, okay, alright, looks like so far, yep, Perfecto. All right. Bingo. Thank you, Dakota. Thank you, Nick. Appreciate it. Good Monday, everybody. Ryan Mills, how are you? Welcome to the show. Give it a moment before uh, we get things going. Got some fun stuff to show you guys. And when they're done doing the live recording in the archives, or I should say the museum, I'm going to go ahead and um, show off some morning, um, some beautiful Hell Witch stuff. Hey, Haley, good morning. How are you today? Just in time, I'll be closing the ceremonies with a special song for a special somebody that works here that I think we all know and love. Yep. Haley, how's life on the other side of the world and in the future? Ryan Mills, how are you today? How was everybody's weekend? Let's get some more people in here. Let's make this a real party. Ooh, yeah, actually, that sounds fun. Who wants to do Bloody Marys this afternoon after they get off work? I do. I want a Bloody Mary. Um, I'm epically... Uh, gimpy. <laughs> uh, age is catching up to me. Some got some hip joint thing bothering me, so I'm walking around like a well, like an old man. So, anyways, um, hello Haley, hello Ryan. Haley, that is a cute kitten, by the way. Um, like disgustingly cute. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of taking my time, taking my time. I know Carmen and everyone's over there. And if you want to jump on over and watch that, go ahead. It's Cauldron, so I know those are a lot of fun for folks. I'm not going to turn my back to you guys. How you doing? All right, I got some fun stuff for you guys. Um, all this stuff will be on the catacombs. And then I uploaded a bunch of stuff last week on eBay, but... Um, yeah, they're going quick. So a lot of the naked dents I've been putting up there, uh, the minute I put them up, sometimes within two to three minutes, they're gone. So a lot of eBay stock is flying out. Um, a lot of people, <laughs> he's adorably psychotic. <clears throat> yes, kittens are psychotic. It's the black and white ones you got to look out for, Haley. Remember that. If it's already running off with ping pong balls, <laughs> it's going to run off with everything else you own. Trust me. Um, cats that do that, they're a lot of fun. And they will um, annoy the hell out of you. So have fun. Uh, if you guys can hear me, let me know how it sounds. I actually have a microphone on. So if you guys can let me know um, how everything sounds, that'd be great. Uh, first things I'd love to do. No problem, Miguel. I'm going to wait till uh, the cauldron's done. Because I know everyone's excited to see if uh, they get to receive something into their Kickstarters. And um, speaking of Kickstarters, Hell Witch is blowing up. Um, we're not even in two weeks in, and um, we're already a way ahead of what we ever anticipated it to be at this stage. So, thank you, everybody. You guys uh, <laughs> impress us every day. Every day, there's something uh, one of y'all do that just makes us go, God, we're lucky to have people like you. So, thank you, guys. Uh oh, I hear they're gonna pull a cauldron. Should we take a quick peek? So we take a quick, let's take a quick peek and see what they're doing over there. Let's cross the streams for a second. Hey, James Garrison, how are you? All right. What's going on in there? Here we go. Lemon Ash Kid. Lemon Ash Kid. Mr. Hernandez. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. So I guess this so one's in there. They are doing a um, cauldron where basically if you back us on Kickstarter, we put your number in our cauldron 
And then we go ahead and uh, spin the wheel after we pull your number. And we will tip in whatever it lands on. I'm sure this is probably looking like an earthquake. Ah, it's trembling. Ah. There we go. There we go. Let's see how that looks. So that was them doing their uh, cauldron over there. <laughs> this is so weird and cool. I crossed the streams. <laughs> Actually, I think I did. Alexandra Silva, how's it going, man? Welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us. Everything you see here will be on the links for um, Coffin Cauldron. And also there's stuff for the Coffin, um, not Coffin Cauldron, the Catacombs. And also the Comic Shop. Also, there should be links for Kickstarter and links to get you um, a nice little preview of Lady Death Chapter 1 Chaos Rules. So, if you're interested, there's links. Click on the links to get some fun stuff. Eric Hart, what's up, man? How are you? Hope everyone had a good weekend. John Rubb, thank you, thank you. Be showing you some of that guy's stuff I uploaded on the Catacombs. Um, thank you everyone who's been jumping on the catacombs and picking stuff up. Um, I am out of a lot of stuff. Um, apparently putting, uh, creating the catacombs was better than putting things on eBay because they actually flew off a lot faster than I thought they would. So yeah. All right. Can everyone hear me? Okay. I do have a microphone, so hopefully that'll take care of some of the Muffled sounds as I walk away from the camera. I know uh, Gary Compton, you were concerned. Well, hope you can hear me now, Gary, uh, as well as others who have also commented that they couldn't hear me. Let's wait till uh, they're done with the cauldron. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of cool people watching that. All right, let's see. Sounds like they picked the winners. Oh, wow, they're still going, man. All right. So real quick, um, on the catacombs, I've opened up uh, some interesting stuff. Um, please jump on it so you can get to it because they are going very quick. Thank you. Um, thank you, Eric. That's kind of like was my plan. Also in the uh, catacombs, I've uploaded five graded copies. Um, I have the Lady Death Visions, a 9.8, Naughty Edition. This is the Mike DeBalfo cover. This is signed by Brian. It is a number three edition. The 9.8. And Brian has signed it. And I'll actually throw in the uh, number three COA to the graded book. Um, because I feel, hey, it is a number three. It is unfortunate they don't pack the COAs. Um, inside of these, but I get it, I understand. Um, but I will definitely make sure I tip it in uh, for whoever buys it, we'll have the COA it comes with. Um, and if I remember, I'll try to throw in a sticker for y'all too. Uh, real quick, another thing I just saw there, the 9.2 Lady Death Scorch Shirt. This is the Whiteout Edition. I only have the one. So as of now, I have a bunch of books we sent out to get graded. I know some people are asking if we carry CGC books. We are just starting. Um, we are starting to compile stuff, uh, and I think you'll like a lot of the stuff that we'll be presenting to you guys um, once we get it back, get a catalog, and get some pricing done on it. So look for that. Robert Zaborski, that's so badass. Dude, thumbs up, man. Right on. <laughs> and I hear me out. Really? Miguel, you're still cranking out that joke? It's almost 20 years old, okay? Almost 20 years old. <laughs> Robert Zabarski, that is um, probably the coolest emoji. Um, I did one of these, but it just didn't turn out um, to look like me. It looked kind of creepy. Um, everyone else, it seems to look like them. I don't get it. I just have that kind of face. Let's see. I have a 9.4 CGC Lady Death Scorched Earth. This is the heavy metal cover. This is signed by Brian. I only have the one. To my knowledge, this is the only metal I have graded at this time. Hopefully, I'll get some more in as the uh, days, weeks, and months progress. So keep your eyes open. Uh, this is just the beginning of the graded stuff. We'll be uploading under the catacombs and sure enough in the future at the Coffee Comic Shop. I also have a 9.4 Lady Death Scorched Earth. 
negligee edition. Beautiful, beautiful piece. This is also our metal jeweled image, if I recall correctly. I actually like this version better because I, I like that you can really see a lot of the beautiful colors in the original art. Just stunning. Very beautiful. I, I, I could see this version could have either been a jeweled or even a metal jewel, but they definitely went metal jewel. But um, you went out there and when everything gets back to normal, this would look, one of these copies would look great jeweled, I think. Um, I think Shannon would do an amazing job on those. Uh, my fifth and last graded book, this is Lady Death Scorched Earth. This is the Go Ass. It sounds weird to say it out loud, but that's a Go Ass cover. This is E Bass's, Eric Basaluda's cover. It's a 9.6. Super True Supers is awesome. Has anyone seen the second Super Troopers? I have heard everyone talk about the first one, which I've seen, but I have yet to hear anyone talk about the second one, so. If anyone's seen that, yay or nay or eh. So I know sometimes that can happen. So these are my five great books I have right now at the catacombs. So in the future, as I get more, I'll be uploading more. Um, hopefully I can or, uh, upload maybe one or a couple a week. So we'll see, we'll see. I'm really enjoying doing this catacombs thing. If anyone doesn't know what the catacombs, Catacombs is a new landing page uh, we created. Um, eBay's been clamping down on a lot of um, type of products you can carry and terminology. Well, they shut us down for three days. And it really pissed me off because um, I saw, excuse my terminology, but yeah, I found it to be very upsetting when I saw other people selling the exact same things, yet they didn't have cease and desist. They didn't have to call their stuff adult, and I still see it too. So. Obviously, um, they picked us on us for some what other reason, or someone just felt like, oh, I'm sick of dealing with Coffee Comics eBay because they do so good. Uh, I want to report them because I, I can't pimp my own stuff. So whatever. Either way, it is. Took all the good stuff off of eBay, and we created the catacombs. And on the catacombs is where we put stuff I normally would have put on eBay. Your rare stuff, graded items, uh, onesie twosie stuff. Uh, exclusive editions that have been tucked away into the vaults and I bring them out um, to present to you guys to purchase so if anyone's wondering just click on the links off uh, to the side that's where you'll have the links for the catacombs 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 the coffin comic shop our Kickstarter for hell witch which is really doing good and I'll show you guys some of the beautiful stuff we got and then also um, links to get the first 15 page preview of Lady Death, Chaos Rules, which is the beginning of the Coffin Verse and the beginning of the new adventures of Lady Death. So anyone who's new and not familiar with the CCSN, my name's Julian the Hooligan. We are Coffin Comics. We are a small publisher based here out of Arizona and we dominate and we just do some really kick-ass things, especially over on Kickstarter. We have a new Kickstarter going right now. Chapter three of Hell Witch and this is sacrilegious. So I'll show you guys some of the stuff we're offering on Kickstarter so you can take a gander at that. Some other cool stuff I've loaded up over on the catacombs. Everyone loves the BPs. Everyone loves the APs. So today I've got you guys a BP edition of the Lady Death Damnation game. This is the Strike Edition. This is a Brian Polito copy. There is his initials there. Put on those very cool foil stickers for you, and it will include the beautiful COA explaining what a BP edition is. Now, a couple people have messaged me what a BP is, so I'll go ahead and tell you guys now. Cotton Comics publishes a small batch serial numbered editions for collectors. Editions range from eight to fifteen hundred copies per edition. BP editions are a range of numbers from three to ten copies per select edition. Our personal copies of creator Brian Polito. This document hereby certifies the authenticity of this BP edition, except no limitations. So we put it on here so you guys know it is legit. Over here at Coffin, we don't play. We prefer to keep things on the up and up with y'all because uh, all you guys are just amazing people. 
And I just got to give a shout out to uh, all you fiends and all you sworn. You guys are some amazing people. And thank you very much. Uh, I got a publisher file over here. This is a Hell Witch done by Dan Mendoza. This is Dan Mendoza Necro Sketch B edition. Only 30 of these remain. It does, it does have the sticker of a publisher file. It does come with the publisher file COA. Um, publisher file copy for anyone who's wanting to know, Coffin Comics produces additional copies of a given edition. The additional copies allows Coffin to review and proof the printed work and have extras on standby in the event of loss or damage uh, during handling or shipping. Coffin Comics retains these copies until the shipping cycle is complete and any and all loss and damages are reported and the copies are then vaulted. Publisher file copies range from the number of one to four copies per select editions and are assets of Coffin Comics until sold or gifted. Document hereby certifies the authenticity of this publisher file edition except no limitations. Love that terminology. I only have one of these guys. Most of the stuff I'm showing you, I only have one copy of. And once it's gone, there you go. I do have some, they're multiple copies, and they go pretty quick. Next up, I have a vault book. Um, for people who don't know, uh, vault copies are books we hold back uh, four, five, and six, which we offer later um, on down the road for sales or promotions that we do. So this is a vault copy of Lady Death. Where is it? Where did we sell it? Uh, this is the Lady Death Dreams Unconquer Unconquerable Death. See, there's one you guys should have had me say three times fast. <laughs> there we go. Vault copy. This is number six out of 130. This is a vault book. Number six out of 130. It's homage to the Incredible Hulk annual. Another fun one, this is the last one from the vault. I have no fours, I have no fives. I have no nothing so far. I haven't even ran across an AP, let alone a BP. This is another vault copy. This is Lady Death Extinction Express Creator Edition. There's Brian and his mighty creation, Lady Death. Side by side, spooky background. He got full moon. Look at that, it's beautiful. This is my last one that I've been able to find. That's all I can find right now, is this one copy of Creator. So once it's done, goes the way of the dinosaurs. Bye-bye. Let's see, what do we got here? Okay, still got plenty of time. Got lots of people messaging me, okay. Uh, Eric Hart, is your wife doing okay? Oh, no. Please tell me, Eric, give your wife a hug for me. Uh, I hope she's doing well. I'm um, sorry to hear she's in the hospital. Uh, everyone, if we could send all our love and your thoughts and your prayers, if you do prayer or whatever you do, let's send some vibes out to Eric Hart's wife. Um, apparently she wasn't feeling too well, so let's, let's give her that love and that energy uh, to make her feel better. Okay, Eric, look, keep me posted. Daryl, how are you? Yeah, I, I agree with Haley there, um, Eric, you know, let me know how things are going. Message me or if you need to chat, man, just, you know, message me. Let me know. I'm here for you, man. Just let you know. Uh, I hope everything goes all right. I also have a number three edition here, everybody. It's the Lady Death Dragon Wars. This is a WonderCon Anaheim exclusive. This is Lady Death Dragon Wars War Edition. This is a number three edition. Uh, outside of APs and BPs, number threes are the lowest number that we offer to the public for sale. And what is the number three edition? And this one is actually, I think it's signed? No, it's not signed. But I got a COA, a very old school COA in the back there, guys. Uh, if you want to get it signed by Brian, it's all ready to go. So a number three edition, pardon me, I'm trying not to burp on camera. Uh, Coffin Comics publishes small batch 
serial numbered edition for collectors. Editions range from 8 to 1500 copies per edition. Number three edition is the lowest number of edition offered to the public at large. Historically, publisher Brian Polito retains numbers 0, 1, and 2 for his publisher files copies. Though if you have reached collector's hands from time to time, this document hereby, um, thereby certifies the authenticity of the number three edition, except no imitation. So, it's the number three, everybody. Number three, number three. Once these editions are gone, that's it. Um, sometimes I get luck, lucky and find someone. Okay. Where just know that uh, you got a lot of people here backing you up, and you know we're here for you and your wife, man. Another cool thing about working at the uh, here at Coffin and, and being able to go through the catacombs go through the, the vaults and find some weird stuff. I found things like this. The crossover I think we all would have loved to have seen in the 90s and hell with it. I think we should see it today. This is the Phoenix Comic Con 2012 programming guide with Lady Death and Spawn sharing the cover. That's right. McFarlane, Spawn, and he actually drew the Spawn. There's a McFarlane signature. Come on, do me. There we go. There you go, guys. Eight years ago, I think I have uh, eight of these at the catacombs. Uh, I put some on eBay God, three, four months ago, and they were gone within 30 minutes. Uh, they were all gone. So if you missed out, now's your chance. Get them while I got them, because I am almost out. All I have is eight to ten copies left, and that's it. Another cool thing is sometimes I get to find some classics uh, from the 90s, from the Chaos Era. And sometimes I'll find Avatar stuff, but I really love these old school wizard halves. I found one and two Crucible. I believe I have these recently placed at uh, $10 a piece. There is no COA, unfortunately. The COAs were not in there. So I decided to lower the price of what they were uh, marked at originally because they didn't have the COAs. So I have two wizard halves, uh, the Crucible, and I think the other one's for the Reckoning or Between Heaven and Hell. All right. A couple other things, guys. Uh, I also have two very large posters. They are two foot by three foot. We only had one of each of these made. And I don't know if they were for a promotional event, uh, Kickstarter, whatnot, but um, I found these and I thought it would be really appropriate to show you guys and sell these for it. Uh, like I say, these were kind of like mock up type things. We used them for promotion, so they do have a little bends and creases. But this is the DeBalfo. It's a Ghost Reaper, I believe it is. This is laminated. Um, I don't know if Brian's signature will stay on there, but if you want to get it signed, it's fine. The only way you can ship it is in a tube, because it's two foot by three foot. This is the uh, Mike DeBalfo one I have. I only have this one, so if you're a really big fan, get it while I got it. I only have one. Um, I found another box that has a bunch of other oversized posters. I'm hoping they are in um, really good shape. Because uh, if not, then I'm definitely probably uh, will not show them or maybe I'll present them uh, some other time. Um, but these are the only, I only have one of each. This is the Mike DeBalco. These are two foot by three foot. I only have the one. And then I have this other one. It's just as beautiful. And this again, you guys are going to love this. This is really one of my uh, favorite images from Mike Chrome. Very popular image. Um, I was happy I came across this. Again, these large posters are sold as is. These were used for like little promotional videos or whatnot, or things we put in the background for videos. But how would you like to have that? 
framed it on your wall. Again, this is two foot by three foot. This is my chrome. I believe this is the casket, I think is the name of this edition. I don't know, but it's very stunning, very beautiful. It's got a very thick stock. It is laminated. Um, so this is it. I only have the one, everybody. This is it. So if you're a fan of Mike DeBalfo, I have one of these posters of his. And if you're a Mike Crow fan, get it, guys. I only have one of each. That Spawn and Lady Death is 10. Holy cow, that stuff, wow. Wow, man, that stuff went quick. I, I wasn't sure how these posters were going to do, guys. Like I say, I can only ship them to two. They're really big. Um, and they're beautiful. And I think uh, they deserve to be in one of your guys' collections. I really do. And I think uh, you all feel the same way. With all those smiley faces and hearts. Holy cow. That made me feel special. <laughs> Thank you. So... Today's a special day here. Uh, we have a very special birthday for someone who uh, really means a lot to us. She's pretty kind of like um, the godmother to us all here at Coffin Comics. Um, Francesca Polito's birthday is today. So I thought I'd do a special presentation of singing happy birthday song. And I'm wondering if maybe you guys while you're home sing along with me. Uh, I plan to sing this <clears throat> in the key of Marilyn Monroe, so that means it's breathy, it's sexy, it's just for Francesca. Are you guys ready? Okay, Whew, here we go. Everybody all together, let's wish Fran a very happy birthday. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Madam Presidente. Happy birthday to you. Everyone's give a round of applause to Francesca. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Um, she's a really amazing woman to work for. Um, sweet, sweet woman. Um, she works her ass off here and she does some amazing things. So thank you everybody for either singing along or wishing a happy birthday. I really appreciate it. And thank you for letting me uh, be zany and sing it as Marilyn Monroe. So thank you very much. Take the time. All right, I'm gonna take you guys out there. I'm glad you like that, Miguel. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys out there and show you some of the really cool stuff we got on the Hellwitch Kickstarter. Hopefully we won't cross the streams. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if my wife's watching anymore, Haley. <laughs> All right. I'm getting a lot of time. Uh, All righty, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> so, real quick, we're right in the middle of Chapter 3, Hell Witch Kickstarter. This is Sacrilegious. Just so you guys know, this is now, God, we're heading into week two. And it's just been exploding. It's been really amazing to watch. Um, just when you think you've seen it all, um, everybody just takes it to a whole nother level. So, anywho. <laughs> um, oh, hey, there's my wife. I uh, hope you heard me sing as Marilyn Monroe, honey. Um, I doubt my wife would want me to bring her on camera. <laughs> uh, anyways, if you guys have not picked up any of our other um, chapters we have of Hellwitch, um, hi baby. Chapter one, Hellwitch Hellborn. Hellwitch two, this is the Forsaken, chapter two. And what we're doing right now is chapter three on our Kickstarter, Sacrilegious. Now inside the Kickstarter, you can order a set of just these three editions. So there is something, if you're not familiar with it, hey, pick it up, try it out. Just give it a shot, guys. Um, if you're definitely fans, um, any old school fans out there, if you were a fan of Purgatory, I recommend uh, Hell Witch. Uh, she's way, way, way more extreme than Purgatory could have ever been. Um, so if you guys want to try something really hardcore, really vicious, and a character that will 
someday go toe to toe with Lady Death herself, I recommend picking up Hellwitch. Chapters one, two, and three are available on Kickstarter. And Miguel, yes, I have a feeling um, <laughs> uh, there will be some really cool uh, mid campaign infusions. Some other items we have right here we have metallic card sets, everybody. These are really very unique things that, um, like I say, I'd never seen them until I started uh, working at cons for Coffin Comics. The first one was six years ago, and I'd never seen a metal card, never even heard of a metal cover, let alone a jewel or a metal jewel. And uh, Brian and Fran showed them off to me, and those were the most unique things I ever seen. So right here, Brandy's was sneaking up behind me trying to scare me, I think. Miguel, what are you guys talking to my wife about? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> so these are the Metallicard sets we are offering. Uh, the are limited, folks. So um, please pick up Chapter 2, uh, Jay. Please. And I recommend uh, we also have on the Kickstarter, too, you can get all of our uh, collected editions if you don't have any available. Perfect time to scoop them all up. Back that Kickstarter. Pick up the editions you're not winning. Get yourself caught up with the stories because our stories are just getting bigger and badder and more badasser. So jump in now. Get on the ground floor while there's still a floor because we're heading up through the roof into the stratosphere, people. Is it now? <laughs> Oh, God. You know, Eric, <laughs> thank you very much. Um, I love dealing with you, Eric, man. I, I got to say, I always have fun. Actually, everyone I, I've dealt with on eBay and uh, over here doing these shows, uh, you guys are great people, really beautiful people. We have wonderful audiences here at Coffin Comics. So right here, this is the Metallic Jewel Edition. These are all items that are on the Hell Witch Kickstarter Chapter 3. Sacrilegious. This is the sacrilegious risque subjugator. Subjugator. Blah, 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 blah. It's Monday, so you know I'm tongue tied. Ha, 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 ha. All right, this is the risque voyeur edition. Wow, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. I really love the look at her eyes. It's, yeah. That that that's a look of like <laughs> I may be cute, but I'll kill you. Yeah. Uh, I think he's talking about the Marilyn Monroe song, babe. <laughs> this is the um, Hell Witch Sacrilegious Risque Ritual Edition. And behind here are several of our 11 by 17 prints we are offering. All these prints are 11 by 17. Oh, yes. Definitely. Oh, my God. What are you guys telling my wife? <laughs> what are you guys doing? Uh, oh, oh. And this is the um, spinner. This is what we use to uh, find out who will receive um, ash cans that we are just randomly tipping into orders. Look at this thing. This is a hollow foil ash can. I won't show you guys what's inside. <laughs> this guys, really? I have to go home to my wife and get teased again? You guys are loving it. I'm hyping it. I'm hyping it. I'm hyping it. We are also tipping in the Hell Witch Violet Ash Can. And if we spin win, you can also possibly receive the Lemon Sacrilegious Ash Can. Really beautiful stuff, guys. Look at that. The cauldron is just full with all your guys' backer numbers. This is where we'll go ahead and pick your backer number, find out who it is, spin that wheel, and give you a prize. All right, there's some other editions we have. We are doing an original art edition. So all you folks that love original art, well, we're gonna have them. Yes, I, I, I did it in my Marilyn Monroe vor version of Happy Birthday. So I figure, Madam President, I might as well do it that way. This is the soft cover edition, also known as the premier editions, where we have the little chapter three stamped up there to let you know where the story progresses. This right here is the Risqué edition. It's a really beautiful, and I love the energy. 
the artists have given her just coming out of her eyes. That's just really stunning. It just shows how much power she has and how much power she's receiving as she just goes in there to start conquering. Now, this is hardcover edition. I'm really liking these colors he's doing on these books. It's Paolo uh, Pantolina. I'm really loving the colors. They are just popping all over. Um, I think it's the last three or four pieces I've seen from him. I've just been really enjoying um, his coloring. Uh, it, just, it's beautiful, really beautiful. It really just takes his art to a whole new level. Props on you. <laughs> well, you know, I'll make my food, uh, fool out of myself over meatloaf anytime, man. <laughs> This is the homage edition. We're homaging Spawn 1. Again, another really beautiful image from Marat Michaels, Dan Feldmeyer. Thank you, guys. Um, they always contribute some really amazing stuff to us. Then over here, this is the uh, jeweled edition. And in case you can't see it, because sometimes they just don't show up that well on camera, but along the blade, the sword, and the hilts, you can see them there. Um, one of these days, I'll be able to get these to just sparkle just right. Sometimes I'll get this the right angle, and it's, oh, stunning. This is the hollow foil edition. All these items are available on Kickstarter. This is for Hell Witch, Chapter 3, Sacrilegious. I can't wait to make this one. This is the heavy metal edition, everybody. This is beautiful this is an all metal cover uh, for those who don't know I make the metal and uh, lenticular covers uh, it's one of my favorite things to do here at coffin it used to be one of the things I hated doing and now it's one of my most all-time favorite things is making metal editions this is a lenticular cover oh yeah yeah dude my wife makes amazing meatloaf guys I'm telling you so this is a lenticular cover. First, it actually starts with A. Ooh, so tantalizing. And then from there, it goes to B. Uh-oh. It's getting hot in here. And she took off all her clothes. OK, at least the top. There you go. That's uh, Cartman and me doing take off all your clothes. Whoever sang that originally. And also, here's uh, some of the interior work you can expect to see inside Chapter 3, Hell Witch Sacrilegious. Stunning. Ooh, almost running out of time. <laughs> Dude, do you have... All Miguel, do you have all of her original art or just some? Look at that. It's so beautiful. This, this is going to be a beautiful book. And then this is our Kickstarter value proposition. Each physical ward includes free, unlocked, free bonus items. One free bonus pack per backer. Free U.S. shipping. Free digital download. And free autograph and certificate which is optional, from Brian Polito. Here is some of our mystery envelopes. I know there was a couple folks over on Help Desk asking about these. And there will be four different editions that are random. There's the Hellborn one. There's also the Hellwitch Gallery editions, Hellwitch Pinups, and Hellwitch The Forsaken. Now, this is not the 48-page graphic novel. This will be a 24-pager. It's the Dawn with T hollow foil cover. Damn, I really love that image of that wolf. And these are just in um, mystery envelopes about yay big. Um, inside, we also randomly will throw in BP editions, artist proof edition, publisher files, uh, just randomly throwing in great stuff just to make it even more worth your value for backing us. Also, Another cool thing we uh, did this weekend, and there's maybe 20 minutes left to get in on this. We made coffin-shaped comics, everybody. 
Hell yes, we did. This is it. This is the Lady Death Gallery 1 Coffin Edition. This is the Lady Death Gallery 1 Naughty Coffin Edition. Even the prints are shaped as coffin. They are cut into it. There is no like die cut or fold out. This is actually cut this way and manufactured to open up like a comic. This is really cool, guys. We really, Brian really went all out on this. This is a really cool opportunity and we are only making to what orders came in by 5 p.m. specific daylight time. So if you haven't done this or if you haven't checked these out, jump on up and Jimmy's sneaking up behind me scaring me. I don't know what Jimmy's doing. Oh, hey, hey, invisible rats, rats, rats are coming. These are really going to be a fun challenge. We're hyping it up. This is your last 20 minutes to get these coffin-shaped edition, guys. 20 minutes. Don't delay. These are beautiful. These are one of a kind. Hey, hey, hey. Get them. Don't delay. Don't delay because you'll feel real lame. You'll, you'll feel bad, and you'll feel like um, you were really late to the party if you don't grab these. These are stunning. I can't wait. There's even metal editions, guys and gals. Get them. I can't wait to make these. This is going to be a fun challenge. I can't wait. And again, the 11 by 17 prints. And also, let us not forget the newest homage, Where Death Dwells. Dan Feldmeyer and Stephen Butler. Beautiful. So this is a little sampling. I can't believe we're just tipping these in, Jimmy. These ash cans are crazy. Oh, hey, hey, he's there. crazy. Yay, hey. see your skull. Oh, sword, I am Tony Sword. Ah. We need a sombrero for him. Oh. See your sword. <laughs> Having a lot of fun here, guys. So this is what you can expect to find. This is just the tip of the iceberg. One thing we do, if you think this is everything, Brian will turn it on his head and throw out something else where you'll be like, what the heck? That's one thing I love about working here. Um, <laughs> you never know what to expect. Always expect the unexpected. Oh, Randy in pink and black. Pink. Pink and black. Pink and black. This is what I was really good. Oh, okay, so you changed. You're a total Vanna White. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the more you know. Uh, yeah, that's the more, you, the know. more you know. Hey, we should have that with a skull flying through the air. <laughs> so, guys, that's... Just a small, amazing sample of all the great stuff we're offering on Kickstarter. And there'll be more, trust me. For those of you who have uh, backed us know that Brian definitely loves to keep things exciting. Oh, Jay, which print did you get? Did you get Hell Witch or did you get Lady Death? Hi, Jay. Hey, Jay. Brandy says hello. You know what? Hey, Jay, you want to come on camera? Say yes. <laughs> I hope you do, because I'm trying to get you on. Beep. Let's see. Let's get Jay on. Bink. Bink. All right, it's going to work. It's going to work. Jay, 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 Jay. You there, Jay? Hi, Miguel. Yeah, come on. Come on, it's going to work. It's going to work. <laughs> it's slow, but it's going to work. I know it. I totally know it. That's what she's yeah, that's what she's... <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we could put Miguel on. Oh, you want to pick on Miguel? All right, let's 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 pick on Miguel for a little bit. Yes. I haven't seen Miguel in a while. Okay, Eric, we'll get it. You got it, Eric. We'll keep our eyes open. Hi, Eric. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> Where's Miguel? I don't know. Where's Miguel? He says he's adding. No adding. Oh, 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 we got a connection. Oh, oh, hey, there's his chin. What's up, Miguel? <laughs> oh, oh, Brandy, no. you're not. Can you hear us? Can you hear me? Hold on. I can hear you. Can you hear us? Okay. Uh, can't hear you. I can't hear you. Oh, because this is on. Oh. The microphone. Oh, this is horrible. 
Finally, everyone can hear me, but I can't hear them when I bring them on film. Okay, pull it out. Let's see. Miguel, say something now. Can you hear me now? Yeah! Jimmy did it! Randy, you're out of uniform again. What's that? Randy's out of uniform. Well, she does change. So, you know, it's cold out here. It's cold. It's below 80. We're freezing. <laughs> It's true. I, 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 I could have cut glass this morning. It was pretty cold. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so, Miguel, how's your week been? Uh, let's see if you can see it. We've got snow. we got snow? Oh. Nice. Send some this way. Yeah, send us something. Like, it was supposed to rain all weekend, and it never did. Uh, my week's going to start tomorrow. Tonight's uh, Sunday night for me, so. Cool. Well, how was your weekend? What did you do? Do anything special? Nothing. That's good. See, that's special. That's what you wanted to do, right? <laughs> Nothing? You didn't have to work on the Pretty farm? Pretty much. You just got to chill. <laughs> there you go. See? I love that. That was like, you're right. It's a guilty laugh, but you're right. <laughs> So uh, what type of stuff have you been uh, waiting for for the Kickstarter that's coming up? Okay, I love you. We'll see you later. Bye, boy. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Never. <laughs> um, everything on the Kickstarter so far, you know, it's uh, kind of hard to find out what to get and what not to get, you know, because you want everything. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've seen a couple people were like, oh, shoot, they're going to add more. It's like, yeah, we always do. It just grows. It's 29 and snowing here. Jay, you can keep that 29 and snowing. <laughs> I won't touch anything below 30. Heck no. <laughs> Not this Hispanic man. No. That's too cold. Forget it. <laughs> I don't see how you could deal with it out there because you're in uh, Albuquerque, correct? Yeah. Nice. How long have you been there? Oh, all my life. Nice. So you're native to your area? Yeah, native New Mexican. I should, uh, I always drive through there whenever the wife and I head up south to see family. We always go through Albuquerque. So maybe one of these days we'll have to swing by and say, hey. Hell yeah. Yeah. Because I haven't, been, the only time I've been to Albuquerque is to drive through either to do shows or whatnot. I've never visited, but I always like on the freeway it's like wow i kind of want to check out this town <laughs> it's like hey they got cool unique freeways it's got to be a cool place to hang out um <laughs> we got good beer. we got good uh good uh mexican food yeah of course you better you're next to arizona where it's the best oh oh yeah come on you've had you've had some of that good sonoran mexican food here I've had I've had good food there. Yeah, but eh, yeah. it's better. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, That's like saying Colorado has the best green chili. No, not really. I don't know about that. I've never had Colorado green chili. <laughs> Maybe next time I'll try it. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> God, between the the links here and there, I'm getting messages from other folks on my other phone. It's like, hey, people, calm down. Let's, let's just let me interview Miguel. So what's kind of stuff, you know, we're almost midway through the campaign for Hellwitch. What are you hoping for that Brian or type of surprises are you looking forward to? I have no idea what to expect anymore. Um, you know, I'm, I, I, I got you, you get used to what Brian does for one uh, Kickstarter, and then the next Kickstarter, he does something completely different and goes one step higher, one step higher. So at this point, I have no idea. Yeah, it, it, try working here. It's like you get <laughs> subtle hints. He'll give you little hints here and there. Uh, but in general, um, usually I don't see that stuff until you sometimes, if I'm lucky, 24 hours or even 30 minutes before we go live. <laughs> You guys see it, that's what I see. So once in a blue moon, we'll see something way ahead of time. But no, not so much. I, I, I usually learn about it the day you guys are going to learn about it. I don't know how he does it. <laughs> <laughs> or 
or you get a load, and then it, the, the look on his face uh, when he's definitely pulling out something new, it's like, oh my god, it's like a kid at Christmas. He's like, you want to see what I'm going to do next? Whoa. It's like, dude. You gotta be kidding me with this. Like when he was first talking about the ash cans, I'm like, you're really gonna do a legit ash can? He's like, hell yeah. And then he brought in the uh, prototypes, and I was floored because it had been a while since I've seen ash cans. I used to, they used to be like popping up all over the place in the uh, late '80s, early '90s, if I recall correctly. Yeah, and most people just dismissed them because they weren't like comic books. I've seen several that got thrown away. I once saw someone pitch a whole box because I already had some of the ones he had. Threw the whole thing in the trash. It's like, wow, dude, uh, could have held on to those. There's somebody out there likes that stuff. Just because I passed on it, just because I have them, doesn't mean you should throw them out. It's like, hold on to that stuff. You never know what could happen. What's some of the stuff that um, you're hoping to see or additions that – Maybe we'll throw them out there, or maybe not, because I'm waiting to see what's, like you said, the mid-campaign stuff. I, I'm really yeah, I wait to see Wednesday. what he does. Yeah, I'm, I'm just waiting until Wednesday to see uh, what he's going to put up, because they usually come up with the, the good artists. Harrigan's usually one of the ones that does the mid-campaigns, the mid uh, campaigns, mm -hmm. you know, and I love his work. Um, you know, it's always something that Brian does for these uh, mid campaigns. And, you know, when they do, it's, you always have to save just a little bit of money so that you can like, you know, get those mid campaigns as well. Cause a lot of them are very exclusive too. Pretty much like, a, oh, and if anyone's hitting it on, on the industry envelopes for how, how which, um, make your decisions now. Um, I, I think Mel told me we're probably below 50 or so at this point. So if anyone hasn't picked on mystery envelopes and said, oh, I'll wait till later on, uh, don't wait. Don't. Uh, we do get a lot of messages for people wanting to add uh, mystery envelopes. So those are very popular. Um, we thought we had enough for the Hell Witch and we blew through those and it was 999. So those might be a nice size number, but they go quick. So uh, if anyone has been thinking about Hell Witch, uh, mystery envelopes now's your time uh i doubt they will be around by the end of the week that would be my prediction they just go too quick so miguel now that it's snowing yeah. are you going to organize your comic books or do you guys get snowed in there or what does the weather do for you guys in your area well if we get snowed in just wait a few hours and it'll all melt oh so you it doesn't stick around long at all no, it doesn't stick around. A really bad snowstorm where, where the city's, you know, on delays or we get, you know, four, five, six inches, um, it'll be gone in a couple of days. Wow. Okay, so that reminds me a lot of Portland. It rained, like, or snow maybe three times a year. Once every four years, it's really bad, and it sticks around for a week. But normally, it's just like, oh, it snowed, and it's gone within a few hours because the rain takes it out. I, I like that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's in the city, it's like that. Um, up in the East Mountains, no, if it snows up there, it'll stay for weeks, no matter how hot it gets or whatever. It, it just stays up there. Do you also do a lot of camping in your area? Um, I try to, but, you know, I mean, there's not really much to do in the area. You got to, like, drive either up north or down south. Um, you know, I, I don't like camping in the campgrounds because there's too many idiots. Yeah. So. No, we, we try to go off the path where it's like, I don't want an outhouse. I'll dig a hole. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm old school camping. <laughs> it's like, you know, yeah, I love the camp. My wife and I try to go at least once a month if we can. At least. It's a blast. We just, she likes to sit and read in the trees with, in the hammock and I'll just run around and just start hiking around everywhere, see what I can find, usually get a collection of bones going. That's what I like to do. <laughs> I think we have probably the equivalent of five deer corpses with all the bones we have in our house. <laughs> you're, you're, you're like a, what, just a large kid that she has to take care of? Oh, yes. 
Totally, dude. Totally. Are you kidding? You, yeah. Just ask my wife. <laughs> She's always has fun. She's like, great, great. You go have fun. I said, I will. I'm going to go roll around in the dirt. Why not? I'm in the wilderness. Who's going to stop me? Okay, maybe a bear or something, but, you know, there's hardly any bears in Arizona. Elk, yeah, they'll scare the crap out of you. Maybe a coyote will bite you in the butt, but that's about it. Snakes are the one thing you know. The rattlesnakes um, are the really things you got to look out for. So, well, don't don't you have like, scorpions coming into your home at night? No, not where we're at. If you, the further, the closer you are to the mountains in the valley, where it's newer developed or it's developed next to a, the desert, oh yeah, they're everywhere. They'll come out of your, uh, out of your uh, light sockets. <laughs> I mean, I you're ama- It's amazing how they get around. Because you'll just be sitting there having dinner, you hear the scratching sound, look up, and there's three of them crawling around in your uh, your lights. It's like, nah, that's they just die. Because <laughs> they ain't fun to sting you, especially when you get stung in the butt. That's the worst thing. All right. I got a few minutes left. Miguel, is there anything, any shout outs or anything you want to say to the folks out there? Give Brian Polito all your money. <laughs> Thank you, Miguel. <laughs> it's always good to have you. It's good to see you. Look at you. got a nice big smile on. That's a way I love to end my Monday. So thank you very much, Miguel. You have a good one. You too, man. Everyone, that was Miguel. Everyone say bye, Miguel. Bye. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got here. Think. What's that? Okay. This thing doesn't work as good as it used to. That's for dang sure. All right. All right. All right. So I got a few minutes left, everybody. Just wanted to say thank you, Miguel. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, James Holmes, for joining us. Um, Eric Hart, thank you uh, again. Uh, Let us know uh, how your wife is doing. Uh, Like I say, if you need to talk, I'm here for you if you need anything. So uh, please let me know. Lady Death Crucial Vax Onyx cover. Dude, I wish. James, I wish, um, but you never know. I've been able to find some really cool stuff in boxes upon boxes. So if I run across one, darn sure I'm going to put it on here into the catacombs and show you guys off because, uh, yeah, I'd love to have one of those. So real quick, guys, I just got a couple minutes. Uh, again, happy birthday to Francesca Polito, Madam President. We love you. We appreciate you. Um, thank you, everybody, who's been backing us uh, on Kickstarter and continue to support um, this little small company that could. We just keep on going and keep on chugging. We get more passengers jumping on this train, and I think it's because of all you guys being so welcoming and getting the word out. And pardon me. Thank you, guys. We really do appreciate it, and we can't do it without your support. Uh, you know that. We know that. That's why we love you guys, and that's why we show you guys all the respect in the world. So uh, in closing, I just want to say uh, I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'm sworn to you guys. Thank you again. I hope everyone has a wonderful week. Let's get it done. I'll see you guys Wednesday at noon for the other segment of the Catacombs. I'm Julian the Hooligan. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful evening. Anyone going home, be safe. We'll talk to you later. Thank you again. You all are beautiful people. We love you here.